Hello. I wasn't expecting any visitors at this time of night. I was just, well, well, I was just about to embark on a journey into the real essence of the SN1 reaction. Come on, join me. Maybe you could learn a thing or two about true chemistry. I love our crew. Oh, we are so tight. Nothing to break us up. Wow. I'm in love with Steve. I'm going to win him over. Steve, I want to be your girlfriend. Whoa, Missy. We will protect this sacred relationship. Get back. <laughs> Two years later. Mary, this just is not working out. What? I knew something was wrong with me. No, there's nothing wrong with you. It's... It's just the solvent. Huh? The solvent. You'll understand when you're mature. Ugh. Immediately after, Mary took the walk of shame. I will never love again. There's such an emptiness in my heart. Steve, I love you. Wow, that happened fast. That's what I like to call a rebound. <clears throat> wow, what a marvelous journey. That is really true chemistry. Seth. Can you show us the real mechanism of the SN1 reaction? In every SN1 reaction, forming the carbocation is always the first step and is always the slow step. To do this, you react either a secondary alkyl halide or a tertiary alkyl halide. In this, the leaving group will leave and the positive charge will be placed on the secondary carbon. In the second step of an SN1 reaction, the formed carbocation will be attacked by the nucleophile. When this happens, the water will attach to the secondary carbon and form this structure. Finally, since we used water as our nucleophile, we must deprotonate it, using water again to attack this hydrogen and pull it off, forming the alcohol. Well, here we have an SN2 reaction with a bromine, a good leaving group, on a tertiary carbon. But what happens in the presence of a polar protic solvent, such as methanol, you may have noticed in the video that DMSO was used to uh, cleave Mary and Steve's relationship. Well, that's a polar aprotic solvent, which in an SN1 reaction is not favorable at all. But uh, in a... In a in an SN1 reaction with a polar protic solvent, you will have the leaving group leave on its own to form a carbocation. Again, the carbocation is on the tertiary carbon here and uh, is very stable and ready to react uh, right as it Once this stable carbocation is formed, any nucleophile in the pot will attack that carbocation. Here we have methanol. Methanol will come and attack the carbocation forming your product after deprotonation. Thanks, Doc. Wow, what a great adventure. After those two great explanations, and let's go ahead and talk about how they parallel each other. So again, you had Steve and his two friends. His two friends were protecting him. You could also say uh, they were hindrance in chemistry terms. Now, Steve had his girlfriend. She happens to be a good leaving group. In the presence of the solvent, she was forced to leave. And it broke Steve's heart. Steve's broken heart, or the emptiness inside, could also be parallel to the empty valence electron shell. He needs something in his life, and something is a good nucleophile. 
Or it could just be Laura. Well, Laura was here waiting, and she ran and connected with the heart. It's a beautiful love story. Happy Valentine's Day.